What's up guys? Today we'll be checking out Bullet Train on 4K. This isn't a review on how good or bad the movie is, I'm just going to share some of my thoughts on the audio and video quality. Now let's go over a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 4.5 and 2.6K. It's got a 4K DI. It's rated R. Runtime is 127 minutes and the aspect ratio is 239 by 1. So there are black letterbox bars and the audio is in Dolby Atmos. Now when I saw this at the theater, I didn't think that the Atmos was all that great. So I was hoping that maybe once it came out on disc or on digital, it'd be a lot better. And I was wrong. It sounded the same as a theatrical mix. Taking a look at the Atmos viewer, we can see that most of the audio remains in the lower channels. I'd say about 95% is in the lower channels. The few scenes that do get height channel effects are at 8 minutes and 40 seconds in, where you'll hear music in the height channels, at 21 minutes at the Bolivia scene, 31 minutes when he gets off the train, 49 minutes at the train station you'll hear music and ambiance, and at 58.36 is probably the coolest part when the door goes flying open. At 1 hour 10 minutes in there's more music, 1 hour 35 during the White Death intro, and at 1 hour 47 minutes in there's more music in the height channels, and this is also the longest stretch with the most height channel activity. I'm gonna say it lasts for about a minute or two. Most of the other stuff lasts for only a few seconds. Just let it go, bro! Now the parts you'd think would have a ton of Atmos effects is during the kill count, which had a bunch of gunshots and explosions, had absolutely nothing going on in the high channels. And even with the big train crash at the end of the movie, there was nothing happening up top, even though the scene was pretty bombastic. I also felt that the bass was lacking big time too. It didn't dig all that deep and didn't hit all that hard. The music was decent and there is some nice ambiance when you're in the train or outside of the train station, but overall I just felt that it was flat. If you're new to the channel and you're into new movies and audio and video gear and want to see more content like this, be sure to tap the subscribe button for new weekly videos. Bullet Train doesn't come out on 4K Blu-ray until October 18th, so I did watch this on the Cladoscape, which is the same, if not better, than the 4K disc. It's a 62 gig file, so I'd expect the 4K Blu-ray to be roughly the same size. As for video quality, it's a pretty crispy transfer with just a little touch of softness to keep the image from having that overly digitally sharp edge. Although some of the close-up shots are super detailed. Now there's this close-up shot of Brad Pitt's face where you can count all his wrinkles and facial hair, but you can also see where it looks as if they digitally wiped away the bags under his eyes, which looks like a digital smudge. But everything else from costumes to digital effects are sharp and super clean. The most eye-catching aspect of the movie is the HDR. This has got an Aquaman-esque color palette with a lot of bright, vivid neon colors. Although the picture brightness isn't quite as bright as Aquaman, but man, those colors have a ton of pop. The specular highlights are just as bright and impressive, and the black levels add a ton of contrast to the image that gives the movie enhanced depth and dimension. So for video quality, I'm gonna have to go with the 9.6. It's a crispy transfer that's super detailed, and the HDR will definitely impress you if you need something to show off your display. For audio, I'm gonna go with a 7. I thought the bass was weak, and the lack of overhead activity was a huge letdown for a movie that had some intense action scenes. The dialogue, on the other hand, was always easy to hear, so that's a positive. So if you do need a movie with great visuals, I'm sure Bullet Train will definitely do the job. Now, what are your thoughts on Bullet Train on 4K? Have you seen it, and what'd you think of the transfer? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Now, if you do want to grab this movie, I'll leave some links for it down below in the video's description. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you could follow us on social media. And if you want to support the channel and get exclusive content and great discounts on audio and video gear, then stop by our Patreon page. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you again in the next video.